the probability formula sums in the S1 syllabus is something abstract. We don't have to use any context. We don't have to understand the story behind the sum. This would be just like an algebra sum. So we can actually delve into this sum into thinking about what is happening in reality. Just like in algebra, we solve an equation and it is just that equation x plus 3 equals to 7 and we find the value of x here we don't have to worry about what is happening in the real world regarding that probability here all we have to do is use a formula to find the value of a probability I'm not going to talk about the idea behind this I'm just going to give you the formula and the tools for doing this sum the concept here uh, starts from level maths B syllabus sets and also the basics of probability I'm going to do I'm going to give you the formula and I'm going to show you how to do this sum using the formula let me repeat in s1 most of the sums will have a context it would be based on what is happening in the real world but this particular sum is without any context and it would be just based on formula sets sets refer to a collection that's all I'm going to talk about in this lecture sets refer to collections and sets they have some notations of sets uh, called set notations and these notations are set notations this symbol is called union meaning everything all in probability union is referred to as the or probability or the addition rule or rule or addition rule in probability then we have the intersection notation given like this it is the common so when we are talking about intersection we are talking about what is the common region in set we use intersection in probability this is the AND rule or the product rule the next notation is the complement notation or prime notation A prime this is the complement of a set pronounced A prime meaning everything except a a prime means everything except a removing everything uh, removing a from everything else now everything means a universal set everything means universal set denoted by this symbol and this is called universe or universal set these are the set notations that are needed to do the probability formula sums the complement of a set in probability is given by probability of a prime is equals to 1 minus probability of a the AND rule means probability product the OR rule means probability addition so the or rule is also referred to as the addition rule the and rule refers to the product rule of course I mentioned before the probability formula sums using the sets you do not have to understand the story behind it all you need is a set formula and that's it universal set means the entire set the entire collection let me briefly talk about sets a set is a collection if I say a set of numbers so it's a collection of numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 if I say a set of numbers multiples of 3 it's another collection 3 6 9 all the numbers multiples of 3 now we need to put the sets somewhere 
that is called the universal set if I have one set as natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 another set as multiples of three numbers 3 6 9 12 so what is the universal set the universal set is probably integers or numbers in general universal set is just the name of all the sets that contains in inside it when we talk about union of a set we are actually talking about making a new set for example if you have a set a which has one two three and if you have set b which has three four five if you want a new set a union b it means it will have one two three four five everything of a everything of b combined if you have intersection it means the common of both so a intersection b would be a new set that would have what is common to both a and b in this case three complement of a set would ask the question remove a from the universal set if a has one two three items in it and the universal set has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then a prime would be remove a from the universal set so if you remove one two three from one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the remaining is four five six seven eight nine ten that would be a prime so that's a brief description of sets sets are collections that's it we are going to do the probability sum by considering each probability as a collection the first formula that we need to memorize this is called the union formula probability of A or probability of B which we write as union union means or equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection of B this is the first formula and the main formula probability of A union B equals to probability of A plus probability of B plus minus probability of A intersection B an example would be helpful suppose probability of A is 0.1 probability of B is 0.3 probability of A intersection B is 0.2 find probability of A union B using the formula a union B is equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B all we have to do is plug in the values 0.1 plus 0.3 minus 0.2 that would be 0.1 plus 0.3 is 0.4 minus 0.2 is 0.2 probability of A union B is 0.2 another question can be probability of A union B is given 0.7 probability of A is 0.3 probability of B is 0.8 now we have to find the probability of A intersection B therefore we can write start with the formula A union B equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B by plugging in the values we will have A union B probability is 0.7 remember probability is out of 100 percent 0.7 means 70 percent probability of A is 0.2 and probability of B is 0.8 let me make it it's alright minus let's do the calculation anyway so we can say if I bring this to this side it would be probability of A intersection B probability of 
uh, addition of 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 if you add it it would be 1.0 or 1 and if I take this to the other side this would be 0.7 so it would be 0.3 so probability of A intersection B is 0.3 this way we can use that formula and we can find the probability of A union B we can find the probability of A, we can find the probability of B, we can find the probability of A intersection B based on how the sum is structured. Getting back to the main sum, the next formula is called a conditional probability.